Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Steve. I'm Scott. And together we are Backyard Musings. We are the science and technology channel. We bring you innovations, reports on innovations and stuff that can give you hope and hopefully improve your life. Um, a lot of stuff that we've been looking at um, that we hope that you find interesting. Our subscribers have been going up, so I think people are finding it interesting. So, uh, what, uh, what, Scott, it was like November or December, we did a report on Tokamak in Spain that was uh, being built by Korea, South Korea, United States, Italy. I, I want to say they were building it. Isn't that right, Scott? Uh, you know, I don't remember that far back because uh, I'm an old guy, but uh, we probably did. We've been talking. Yeah, it was, it was in Spain, and it wasn't completed yet. T today, China's Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak East, also known as the Artificial Sun, has set a new world record by sustaining high confinement plaza plasma for an impressive 1,066 seconds. And uh, do you... Do you know how many minutes that is, Scott? Uh, not right off the top of my head, but it's it's more than five. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's all they could hold it for before it was four or five minutes. This is over 17 minutes holding the plasma. And uh, thanks to AI, who's uh, helping to hold it. Uh, this achievement reached on January 20th marks a major step forward in the quest to develop fusion power as a clean and limitless energy source. The 1,066 second milestone represents a significant leap in fusion research. It was accomplished by the Institute of Plasma Physics, ACIP, at the Hefei Institutes of Physical Science, HFIPS, part of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. This new record greatly exceeds the previous world record of 403 seconds. Um, that's about five minutes, a little bit more, yeah. six minutes also set by East in 2023. Would you like to know more? The ultimate goal of developing an artificial sun is to replicate the nuclear fusion process that occur in the sun, providing humanity with a limitless and clean energy source and enabling exploration beyond our solar system. Scientists worldwide have dedicated over 70 years to this ambitious goal. However, generating electricity from a nuclear fusion device involves overcoming key challenges, including reaching temperatures exceeding 100 million degrees Celsius, which is crazy, crazy hot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If that was 100 million degrees Fahrenheit, that would be hot. But Celsius, yeah. So maintaining a stable long term operation and ensuring precise control of the fusion process. Yeah. So that's a crazy temperature. And uh, you think the sun it's out in a vacuum and it's got all this plasma that it's controlling and all this heat. And we're trying to replicate it here on the earth. A little bit crazy. Yeah. So here's a quote, a fusion device must achieve stable operation at high efficiency for thousands of seconds to enable the self-sustaining circulation of plasma, which is essential for the continuous power generation of future fusion plants said Song Yu Tao. ASIP director and also vice president of HFIPS. He said that the recent record is monumental, marking a critical step toward realizing a functional fusion reactor. According to Gong Zhuanzhu, uh, head of the East Physics and Experimental Operations Division, several systems of the East device have been upgraded since the last round of uh, ex uh, experiments. For example, the heating system, which previously operated at the equivalent power of nearly 70,000 household microwave ovens, that's a lot, yeah. has now uh, doubled its power output while maintaining stability and continuity. It's a lot of microwave ovens. That is. Uh, those microwave ovens, they're what, two or three watts? So this is a lot. Yeah. Since its inception in 2006, East has served as an open testing platform for both Chinese and international scientists to conduct fusion-related experiments and research. China officially joined the International Thermal Nuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, program in 2006. And that was in our last report that we did. Mm -hmm. As its seventh member, under the agreement, China is responsible for approximately 9% of the project's construction and operation, with ASIP serving as the primary institution for the Chinese mission. 
Uh, ITER, I-T-E-R, currently under construction in southern France, is set to become the world's largest magnetic confinement plasma physics facility and the largest experimental tokamak nuclear fusion reactor under com un upon completion. In recent years, EAST has consistently uh, achieved groundbreaking achievements in high confinement mode, a fundamental operational mode for experimental fusion reactors like ITER, and the future China fusion engineering test reactor, uh, CFETR. Uh, these accomplishments provide invaluable insights and references for the global development of fusion reactors. Yeah, so here's a quote. We hope to expand international collaboration via EAST and bring fusion energy into practical use for humanity, said Song, in Hefei, Anhui province, China, where EAST is located, a new generation of experimental fusion research facilities is currently under construction. These facilities aim to further accelerate the development and application of fusion energy. Man, this is this is so exciting. This is crazy exciting. They're getting close. 1,066 seconds. Once they get it up to a certain point, it just keeps doing itself, doing the plasma itself. Very exciting. Limitless energy. Yeah. I don't, it's uh, one thing that kind of caught my, uh, my peak, my interest in here is when it talks about clean energy. And we know that, that China uh, as a rule is not anything not about clean. clean energy. So yeah, yeah no, this is cool. cool. This is a cool thing. So yeah. see this, maybe, maybe not in our lifetime, but you know, in our, my kids or grandkids lifetime, this could Definitely. be, yeah, this could be something really cool. So all right, folks, right. thanks for joining us. We'll catch you. Uh, we're going to catch you in the afternoon of sa Saturday, this afternoon. Okay, everyone, take care. Thank you. Yep.